Hello, everyone. Welcome back to uh, one of the video interviews of the Proportion Global Community. And in this episode, we are all the way in Ghana. I'd like to introduce you to Salim and Agabas. Salim, can you shortly introduce yourself, please? Yes. Hello, everyone. And uh, thank you for having us, Thomas. My name is Ahmed Salim Idrisu. I'm an HCD professional. I am the, also the deputy director of Hopin Academy and I manage operations there. Thank you so much. And Agabas, over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm truly excited to be here. My name is Agabas and I am an entrepreneur and founder of Upcyclist, an innovative e waste management startup in Tamale. Wonderful. And guys, I heard that um, you guys met each other during a hackathon. Um, Salim, can you explain? Uh, shortly what a hackathon is and how did you start this hackathon? Yes, uh, Thomas. So we um, contacted by uh, GIZ to develop um, um, an innovative idea or an innovative way of getting young people to develop solutions around e-waste. And so we, uh, as a team, we employed the human centered design to develop a three-day program that was uh, packed with uh, activities also employing the HCD method to get young people to develop innovative solutions for e-waste. And Agawa's startup, Upcyclers, they participated and then they actually won the hackathon with a very innovative idea. Very nice. And Agawa, um, before you entered the hackathon, did you know anything about human centered design at all? Wow. Um, before I joined, I didn't have any idea of what um, human centered design was. Um, I was a freshman in um, university. So joining the hackathon actually um, enlightened me more on human centered design. Yeah. And why did you sign up in the first place? Why did you want to participate? Yes. So um, growing up, I've actually had much more interest with electronic appliances and me getting to hear the word electronic waste. The first time I was really curious in getting to know what it is and um, basically why would there be the need for us to come for a hackathon to actually brainstorm on ideas on how to solve um, such a problem. So the main um, reasons why I joined the hackathon was to get to know more about what electronic um, waste is and even to um, get much more insight on what hackathon was because that was also my very first time of joining a hackathon so it was um, um, in a in, in a haste of curiosity and willingness to learn more new things as well all right and and Salim so you launched this hackathon how did you design that program Yes, so we um, we also we made sure to um, engage some of the participants that would be, you know, subsequently engaging in the hackathon to essentially understand also currently at this level how do they what do they know about e-waste and then again also see if they would be a best fit for the processes that would be used for the hackathon. So we designed it to be a three-day activities. And then we scheduled um, parts of the of the human centered design methodology for each day, and we made the last day to be a combination of the entire program, where we would have also resource persons from um, uh, the local ecosystem come and then um, support these uh, um, um, ideas or these enterprising ideas as they pitch their innovative solutions as well. Yeah. So, so you you kind of practice what you preach, right? You you first did your design research among the potential participants. Exactly. In order to learn exactly. what they know about HCD, what they know about e-waste uh, and use that as, as input to design the hackathon. So um, yeah. based on what you learned yes. from that, uh, how did you uh, build their capacity? I mean, doing research and idea generation and prototyping in just three days with youth uh, yeah. who have never heard about uh, human centered design is quite a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. How did it you is. approach that? Yes, so um, what we did was that, I think that we, we tried as firstly, we tried to understand their uh, skill level. So sort of like a very small uh, needs assessment or baseline to get, get to understand their current skills level and then also see how sort of contextualize the 
chemosite design process or the design thinking process to suit their 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 their, their current um, their capacity and also with their current expectations and then our expectations as well. And we then scheduled the uh, uh, activities by day. So for the first um, a few days, that was they were focused more on the empathy mapping and then also uh, essentially a problem, defining their problem or the, getting their problem statement. And then in the subsequent, in the second day was more on idea, ideation and then prototyping the ideas they have come up with. We engaged subject matter experts to help them to de develop the ideas or develop the prototypes of the ideas that they had. And then the final day was when they actually, you know, tested these ideas and then they had the opportunity to also pitch it to uh, their colleagues and then also resource, resource persons. And we also made sure that, you know, they got to communicate, we put them in teams. So it was easier from them to, for them to learn from each other as well. All right, that makes sense. Uh, Agabas, can we hear your uh, perspective on the story? How did you experience this hackathon? Especially, uh, for instance, that first day, empathy mapping. Yes. Um, so um, it, it was an interesting one, of course, but then in the beginning, because everything was sort of a new concept to us, we were um, basically finding it difficult to um, cope at, time, uh, at first. But then um, as the session keeps on, um, it, it began to be um, more interesting and the knowledge shared there was really um, wanted. So we were able to follow up quickly, learned a whole lot of um, principles that was taught during the hackathon and even the networking session was vaulted. So um, Everything during the program was one of a one of one of its kind um, to me, being in the first time, and then with all the um, people, um, like-minded um, young folks we met there was really um, insightful. And throughout um, that engagement, we were able to form a great team that um, currently some of us are. Um, working cordially at Upcyclist. So it was one of its kind and it really built uh, my capacity and as well um, equipped me more to this level as well. Yeah, it's wonderful to see that, that uh, within just a couple of days, uh, youth have been transformed to become uh, entrepreneurs. And now, uh, Agabas, you, you now run um, AppCyclers. Uh, so that's um, that's a really great impact already that it generates yeah. jobs and it solves also the e-waste problem. Um, yeah. Salim, uh, if we would give advice to the human centered designers in the Proportion Global community uh, on how to create impact like you guys did, how can you kind of uh, mobilize the youth? Uh, how can you set up a program like the, uh, the hackathon? What would be your tips and tricks? What makes this a success? Okay, thank you, um, uh, Thomas. So, okay, um, I think the focus from our end has always been on uh, uh, job creation and also reducing the high rate of youth unemployment, which is very prevalent in Africa. And then um, a very strong tool to be in this is um, tooling or equipping the youth with uh, the necessary skills to be able to drive that particular change. And human centered design has been a very strong um, catalyst in that particular um, space and has supported us as an organization in order to do this. My tips and tricks would be, first of all, to um, there shouldn't be a one fits all um, approach for human centered design. We should try as much as possible to sort of contextualize it to suit our local ecosystems and then our local um, environments. That is uh, one. And then again, as I had um, uh, for, I mentioned, it's also very important that when working with these young people, you put them in groups so that they get to learn from, from each other and as well from the facilitator. And what we do is that the youth that we usually engage in our programs um, that um, involve the human centered design, we do not, we don't stop engaging them because subsequently they even become facilitators for other sessions because they have been at a level where they had zero understanding and then now they understand it to a very high degree. They are, it's easier to relate to their colleagues also uh, coming up as well. And also, yeah. 
this one. Yeah. And 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 maybe for both of you, uh, if 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 you guys would run a, a, an, hackath an hackathon again, what would you do different? Or maybe from Agabas, what you, would you recommend uh, Hopin Academy should do different next time? Yeah, um, thank you, Thomas. So um, basically, um, what I would propose more um, was actually uh, will be to have an ample of time and um, in the whole um, training section, um, just because um, there were a um, short period of time in the, um, in the training grounds, we were able to cope up, but um, we, it, it, it was perceived that um, we could have learned uh, more if um, the program was actually conducted um, within a, a long period of time, um, we could yeah. have get much more insight on on whatever we learned on that particular so day. slightly slightly lower pace. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can imagine that. All right. And you also explained to me that after the uh, hackathon, you really got intrigued by human centered design, and you've been searching for online courses. You've been part of a also a, a community of entrepreneurs who adopt ACD. Uh, I yep. like that idea as well because we we are currently running uh, a community of ATD professionals, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so far, we don't have people with your profile, like entrepreneurs who have been mm -hmm. starting to apply ATD. Uh, mm -hmm. But but uh, would this be also an interesting avenue for you as an entrepreneur to become part of a uh, a, a global community of entrepreneurs who embrace HCD principles, or would you say no? Well, keep that for the HCD professionals. So um, I'm I'm the type of person that actually wants to learn and wants to actually get um, perspective view from different kind of people from diverse um, um, jurisdiction. So I, I think it it would be a great opportunity to um, to to be in a um, sort of group um, with well professional um, 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 personnel um, to actually get to know from their point of view um, how they actually um, tackle most of these um, human-centered approaches and probably how we can also um, imply most of their learnings, most of their approaches in, um, in our current uh, um, um, way of doing things in, in Ghana as well. So I actually, I think it, it will be a, a, a greener um, platform for entrepreneur such as me um, to be on such a platform, yeah. Yeah, all right. Maybe the last question for you, Salim, how would you um, kind of close off this interview? Is there any kind of, final remarks you would like to make, maybe also reflecting on what we just discussed with Agabas about uh, uh, hosting also a platform or a community of entrepreneurs who are HCD minded. What, what's, what's your view on this? Yes, I think it's a very, um, it's a very awesome idea. Um, and as I mentioned, I think that HCD is picking up, uh, it was picking up rather slowly in Ghana, but now it is uh, going at a really fast pace. We have a lot of young people really interested in uh, HCD, but also access to resources on HCD is one thing because most of the times today it is just through online forums and then blogs. But then it's really it will be really interesting to have that form of support, uh, a community that you can learn from and also share as well. It's not all about taking you, know, you can learn from and also share and then access to uh, very. Uh, comprehensive resources and learnings from other parts of the country uh, of the country and also globally that uh, we can uh, imbibe in. At the academy where I work, we are really interested in something like this. And we have a very huge community of young people like mm -hmm. um, Agabas who are doing amazing things, They're employing HCD in their startups and then we are um, uh, enterprises as well. And they are, I know that they'll be really interested in, in this as well. So we are really yeah, and I think I, I yeah. totally uh, uh, endorse this because I think uh, a lot of investors might also be really interested in those entrepreneurs that really adopt this ACD yeah. mindset who are yeah. constantly looking at how can I improve, how can I pivot uh, in such a way that, that my business can, can mm -hmm. thrive. Um, gentlemen, I want to thank you a lot for sharing your insights and uh, for the people who are watching, 
uh, we are hosting a live uh, discussion, uh, live session. Uh, just uh, go to proportion.global slash community if you like to know, engage directly and, uh, and sign up to the community if you are a human-centered design professional based in the global south. Thank you for now. And guys, see you during the live sessions. Bye-bye. Thank you, Thomas. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.